Alan Steady here again with Firewalls.com. In this video, we're going to be demonstrating how you can protect against remote access threats through country blocking by utilizing GeoIP. When implementing GeoIP, it allows us to control exactly what network traffic is allowed to ingress or egress the network. We can enforce these restrictive policies across different zones, networks, and services, which is going to give us complete control over the type of traffic we're permitting through our firewall. Jumping into the web admin here under protect and firewall is where we can build out our access control policies. It is here where we define the W's, who, what, when, and where. And what I mean by that is this is where we are telling the firewall who can use it by defining our sources. This is where the traffic is originating from, or even our users. So who is initiating the connection? These can be either based on zones or we can be even more granular by specifying our individual networks or individual hosts. Defining our source networks and or users is determining the who. Over here under our services is what's going to allow us to determine the what. So what is it that we're permitting? And up here under our during scheduled time defines the when. When are we implementing this policy? And because we're looking at GeoIP filtering, in most cases we're going to be enforcing this policy all of the time. And lastly, our where. This is where is the traffic going to? And because of the way that we're building this out in our example here, this is representing traffic egressing, where our source zones and networks will be internal, and the destination is going to be our WAN. Here under our destination networks, we can specify either country groups, as we can see, our Sophos firewall has come pre-configured with some GeoIP groups where we've grouped individual countries based on geographical location. Alternatively, we can also specify individual countries. So when building out our GOIP policies, it's very important that we pay attention to where our rule lies within the rule set, as all of our firewall policies are processed top down. So if this is a global policy, it's probably best that we go ahead and just place this at the top. So in our example here, what we're actually defining is that both our LAN and warehouse zones along with the warehouse red network and our internal network, which are members of these zones, are going to be denied when going to the WAN zone and to the continent of Antarctica and individual country of Zimbabwe. And our services say that we're going to be denying all traffic attempting to go to this destination country and continent. We can go ahead and save our policy here. Whoops, so it doesn't look like I updated the rule position to be at the top, so I can actually just come on down here can drag this guy and put it up there to the top. So basically what we've implemented here is a destination based GOIP filter. And what I mean by that is that we've structured our policy to take action when traffic is bound to these said destinations. So now we'll want to build another policy for source based GOIP, which is basically just the reverse. So where do we want to block traffic coming from? We'll go ahead and update our rule position now. And so here again, all of the same criteria applies, only we're adjusting where the traffic's coming from, so our source zone in this situation is going to be WAN. The traffic is coming from the public network. And so our source networks are going to be where the traffic is originating from, either again by country group, our continents, or individual countries. So in our example here, we're going to implement a policy that's going to block all traffic that's originating from outside of the United States. So in case you didn't catch that here, that was selecting our country group and selecting all of our country groups other than North America. Now because we're wanting to block all traffic originating from outside of the United States, what we can actually do is select our country group. We can actually edit this right here. And we can see that all of these other countries are a member of the North American country group. So what we'll want to do is just come on down here to the United States and just go ahead and remove that from this group. Or you can always create your own country group. 
So now we've specified all of our sources, now we just need to tell the firewall where to deny that traffic. And again, we can be extremely granular here, but because we're wanting to create a global policy denying all of this traffic, we'll just go ahead and select the any here. So just a quick recap, what this is going to do is deny all traffic originating from the WAN coming from any continent or country other than the United States when the traffic is bound to any destination associated with our firewall. Just go ahead and nix the identity here and save our policy. All right, excellent. So our GeoIP policies are now in place. Just something that you will want to keep in mind when implementing destination-based GeoIP filter is that all of our users interact with a ton of different applications and softwares, and a lot of those vendors utilize servers that are actually hosted in some of these locations. So this will require some fine-tuning, but I can assure you that the time is definitely worth the investment because it's instantly going to increase our network security posture. So that's really it. I hope you found this video helpful. If so, give us the thumbs up below. If you have any kind of feedback, leave that in the comment section. And we're always looking for new video topics or ideas. So if you have any, please feel free to leave those below. And be sure you come and check us out at firewalls.com. That's www.firewalls.com. Get secure. Stay secure.